Hey guys, so today I have a collective personal and pet haul. So I'm going to go over the pet items that I got first, and if you're uninterested in seeing the personal items, you can just exit off the video. So I'll start off with what I got from my local pet store. I picked up some of the Martin Mills Little Friends Timothy uh, Rabbit Food, which is for adults. And this is the 4.4 pound bag. And I don't usually show the food or shavings or hay that I buy, but this is actually the food that I feed Toffee. And it was $8.99. And then I went to PetSmart and I picked up a few items that were really cheap. I got a really good deal. So, I actually went there uh, for some items that I couldn't find, but I ended up checking out their clearance section. So the first thing that I got was the Beaks Java Wood Bird Toys, and in a summer haul that I did, I bought these, and the pets really loved them, but they were really expensive, like $6, so I never repurchased them, but I found these on sale for only $1.97, and it was just because the package was a bit ripped, and they were a little bit dusty, but they just look like this, and the pets are sure to love this, and it was an awesome deal. The next thing that I got were these clip and trim ferret toenail clippers, and they're really cute. They're by Super Pet, and I only bought these because they were pretty much dirt cheap. I have uh, nail clippers for my pets. I don't need any more, but these were only $0.47, cents, so I couldn't pass these up. I don't know what I'll do with them. I guess they'll just be good to have a spare, and they are suitable for all small animals just because they say ferret does not mean that they have to be used for a ferret. Um, and the last thing that I got was the Great Choice Spray Millet Holder. And this just is where you're supposed to put millet in it. And it has two bells at the ends. And it's for birds. But it was... It doesn't have a price tag on it. But I believe it was $0.97. Cents, so really cheap. And I might stuff vegetables or a piece of carrot in there for the guinea pigs. Or put some millet in there for dumpling. Who knows? But it was really cheap. So I ended up getting it. Okay, so the last two pet items that I got were actually from Value Village, which is a thrift store, which I believe is only Canadian, but I may be wrong. So I did get some personal items too, but they're in the wash right now, so um, I can't show you. But the first thing that I got was just this cutting board, um, and yes, this is for the pets. It was only $0.99, cents, and it's actually made from glass, and it's really cool. So I'm going to be putting this in the guinea pig cage. It looks like it's actually never been used before. It looks brand new. And it has, like, a pretty picture with, like, limes and lemons on it. So that's just going to be used for the guinea pig cage because it's easy to clean and it will keep them nice and cool. And I also just got this really cute uh, cookie jar. It was $4, a little expensive, but it was really cute. Um, and it's just this ceramic cookie jar that looks like a fire hydrant. And I think I'm going to use this for the homemade dog treats that I make um, since it's really cute and you know, Hydra and dog, they kind of go together. And okay, so now I'm going to go on to the personal items that I got. Okay, so I'll start off with the nail polishes that I got. So the first color um, is by the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear, and it is just in mint sorbet, and it's just a really pretty light pastel mint color, which I love. And then, oh yeah, that's the swatch of it, by the way. And then I got three nail polishes by a different brand that I've never tried out before. I bought these at Shoppers Drug Mart, and this seemed like a new brand. It was really, really cheap. Like, it was $2. It was $1.99 each. So, I guess we'll see how the quality is. It's probably not very good, but it was pretty cheap. So, I got... They're called Essence, by the way. And it's called Color and & Go. And let me just show you the uh, applicator, because that's what I really like. It's a very thick applicator, if you can see. So you should only have to do a few strokes. So I just got a black color. I got this really pretty like lavender lilac color. And it's actually sparkly too. And then last but not least I got this like gray iridescent type color. It's really pretty. I really like it. And that is what the swatches look like in that order. Okay so now I'll show you the like fashion items that I got. So I went to Giant Tiger first, and I got these pair of white stretchy denim shorts, and they fit really nicely, and they're really comfortable, and they were only $15, so they were pretty cheap. And then I got an oversized graphic t-shirt, and this one just has some palm trees on it, which I really, really like, and it's really comfortable as well. And then I got this t-shirt, which 
or not t-shirt, it's a tank top, and it just has this like pocket at the end, and it's just a really nice, pretty green color. So I also went to H&M, and I'll show you what I got. So the first thing that I got was this really pretty bikini top, it's actually like the bandeau style, and it is just completely fringe, and I actually saw this online, I really loved it, and when I got there, I tried it on, and it looked really nice on as well. And it just kind of like fades out to an orange color, which is really pretty. And yeah, this was only $20, and it does come with the straps if like you want straps. And then I got a pair of these gray jean shorts, which are also stretchy and very comfortable. And I got a pair of these comfy like sweat shorts almost. They're just blue, and they've got pockets, and they're really soft and cozy. And then I just have to move the camera for a second, but I got this top, and it kind of reminds me of a referee top. Uh, it's just a tank top, and it has these vertical black stripes, and if you can see at the back, it just has a little bit of a zipper detailing, and I believe it was, yeah, it was only $20, so again, not too bad, and it looks really cute tucked in to those gray shorts. Okay, so last but not least, I just have a few odds and ends from some different stores, so from Old Navy, I got this bikini top, and it is just red and white striped with these blue detailing, and it matches some bottoms that I already have, so I thought it was cute, and I got it, and it was only, it was $25, so a little steep, but very cute. And from Garage, I don't usually shop at that store very much, but I popped in there, and I found these gray shorts, sorry, you guys can hardly even see them, Ugh, there. And they were on sale for $15. They're a little bit big, but I kind of like them because they're a little bit longer than the other ones that I got from H&M. And they're pretty soft and comfortable. And then I got two tops from H&M. If you hear a dog, oh, hello there. Just pass through, that's fine. Uh, yeah, from Forever 21, I got two tops. The first one that I got is just this really white and pretty... Jeez, Abby, excuse me, I'm trying to film a video. And she wants to give kisses now. <laughs> um, anyways, it's just a really pretty white top, and it has this, like, kind of like, oh yeah, it's kind of like a little bit see-through there, if you can see. It's pretty. And if I just take it off, it's a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. <laughs> I got another top from Forever 21, and it's just a cream tank top, but in the back, if you can see now, it kind of crosses over like that, so that's kind of a cool detail. And it was a little expensive, it was like $11 for a pretty cheap fabric, but I needed a cream tank top to go with these shorts that I have, so 